I'm gonna be talking about how I got my first real estate wholesale deal and how much money I made on my first deal. It was scary at the beginning. I knew it was gonna be difficult, but I had no idea what I was really in for. And even though it's difficult, it's possible. So I really hope to inspire you and hope that one day you can get a deal done and you can make a lot of money. So let's get into it. From East LA to the hills of Rancho Cucamonga, I'm gonna show you how I went from being broke to being rich. Hey guys, it's Mike Martinez. First of all, what is real estate wholesaling? It's when you find a motivated seller and you convince them to sell you their property at a deep discount. And you're gonna find a buyer, an investor, to buy that property off you for a profit. You don't need a real estate license or anything like that. If you get a property at $200,000 under contract and you find a buyer, a real estate investor to buy it for, from you at $220,000, you just made a $20,000 profit by simply assigning your rights to buy this property to the buyer. Simple as that. Why would anybody even sell their property at a discount though? Well, because sometimes in order for them to sell their property, on the real estate market, they're gonna to need to put a hefty amount of money into repairs, upgrades, and getting it up to the current year standards. Showroom conditions is what we call it. A lot of sellers don't have that kind of money. We're talking anywhere from 20 to $60,000. What are they gonna do if they don't have that money and it can't pass the appraisal for a traditional buyer? A cash buyer is their only option. And that's where we come in and we help these people. So back in February of 2020, I partnered up with one of my buddies that I met at a real estate event. And we started grinding on the phones. And one of his buddies gave him a tip, a hot tip, a lead. There was a marijuana grow house that had been shut down. So what I did is I took my resources from my debt collection agency and we skip traced the owner of that property. It was an Asian seller who really had no idea that their house had been seized. We put a little bit of fear of God into them and basically let them know that they had some city codes to deal with that they were not in compliance with. And to be honest, we just kind of scared their socks off and we convinced them to sell the property to us. He locked up the deal, got it at a good discounted price. What I did is I took my resources and I started looking for a buyer in the area. I started looking for LLCs because they're the ones that are serious people when it comes to buying investment real estate properties. And I started cold calling them, started cold calling a bunch of buyers. One of these guys that I got on the phone was a Hispanic dude that flips a lot of properties up in the high desert here in California. And we hit it off. I got on the phone with him. We had a very productive conversation. I sent him out to the property. My partner, Alan, at the time was living up in the high desert. So he was able to break into the house per se, went in through one of the back windows and opened up the property for this potential buyer. Again, his sales skills really shined and he was able to convince that buyer that we should immediately go under contract to resell the property to them for a hefty profit. So all you really need is a seller and a buyer and the price just has to be different. So I remember at the time we had it locked in for about 210,000. I ended up selling it to this buyer for 234,000, which led to a $24,000 profit margin. Okay. Is it luck? Maybe two years later, I found through my experience that it's not just luck. It's a little bit of skill with a little bit of pressure pushing on to your ambitions, your goals, and your dreams. Now, let me tell you guys how I discovered wholesaling in the first place. In 2019, my other business was struggling a bit. I was facing a devastating lawsuit, and it really woke me up that I should probably look for other avenues of income besides just debt collections. I always thought real estate was sexy. I just never thought I had enough money or resources or the means of getting into this industry. I remember taking my son to baseball practice and I'm sitting there in the car listening to a podcast of Jordan Belford, but I hear this guy, Chris the Shark, on the podcast. And he says, you know, I do real estate wholesaling and he kind of broke it down to me and I thought, hey, with my sales background 
And with my debt collections background, I think I can nail this business. I went to a seminar of his that was held right before you know, I launched my wholesale business and it really inspired me. I had never been to a seminar in my life, ever. I always thought they were a scam. I never believed in them. I thought it was a waste of time and money. Well, it was life-changing for me. It was very motivational. It was very inspiring. And that's what I hope to do with you. I hope to show you that this is real and it's possible. I hope I inspired you guys. I hope that you understand now that even though every deal may not be this easy to come by, every deal is possible and you guys can make a lot of money in real estate wholesaling. Do me a favor, hit the like, subscribe, and comment below, and I hope to see you on the next one.